Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with a 400 subscriber giveaway video. And I want to show you what. Okay. It's this big old jar. Big jar. Big jar full of stuff. I can't really. <laughs> I can't really show you. I'm going to pull things and put them in a bag. So. Because we're going to end up. Sending this to y'all in a bag anyway, so hopefully we can get this to record. Here's a taxco, very cute embossed bangle. Oh, and tonight we have, or today we have, uh, excuse me, Miss Foxy and uh, the matching bracelet to go with the. Oh my, that's way different. Jeez, it looks, when it's not under the lights, it looks like it matches, but, okay, we're just going to leave the foxy on then, let me take that off, Blah. anyway, here's a bangle, a very nice bangle, I might say, I'm going to bang on my light and make sure it stops that buzzy boo. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this video today, and today is Friday, the, uh, hold on a sec. Hey, Rory. Yes. What is tomorrow's date? Tomorrow would be the 21st. 21st, okay, so this is going to drop tomorrow on the 21st. And then we're going to do the drawing on the 28th, a week from tomorrow, at around eh, between 1 and 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, so let's get some more stuff out of this here jur. And of course they're going to get tangled up in each other. Okay, here's a little glass guy. Stretchy, stretchy. And then, this one is a cute little diminutive statement necklace, which I find interesting. What I find inter interesting about this one is, it's all orange and white until you hit this one and it's pink. That's weird. Why? Why is that? That's weird. Okay. It has a tag on it, too. Let's take a look at that. I did put some name stuff in here. This is NWT. NWT. Is that an Avon thing? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It is adorable. So, and that goes in there. And then we have a Hallmark pumpkin, a jack o' lantern. Pin for all of you Hallmark collectors out there. I know there's a lot of people that collect Hallmark stuff. St oh, Hallmark. 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 What? Uh, oh, you go to bed. I am. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. By the way. Mm -hmm. No, no, my love. Okay. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Birdie's talking. Here's a cute little, I don't know if these are stone or not, they feel like it, but they also have some sweet little crystals, little crystal butterfly and like a mm, off-white, I don't know what color is that, that's like a champagne color. Champagne! Yay! I can't drink champagne anymore. Here is a lovely little necklace with some potato pearls. Potatoes! I don't know if I told you this story, but when my dad passed, we were in the, you know, in a funeral home picking out the, <laughs> picking out the cards for the, the prayer cards, and my sister wanted the Irish prayer, <laughs> and I just off the cuff went, oh, potatoes, and, and the undertaker guy goes, oh, and the little cabbages, <laughs> and we lost it, we were laughing, and my sister was standing there blinking. I don't know. I don't know. I think they appreciate when people have some levity in a situation like that. I mean, they have to 
They have to be so sad for people all the time. I would think having a crack up in there would be great. Um, and my dad was a crack up, so he would make fun in the worst possible times. Like, he loved to make a joke when it was totally in bad taste to do so. So, of course, I had to follow his lead. And I don't know where I got that. Where, uh -huh, I went off the track. Oh, because potato pearls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Promise I haven't been drinking. Here's a cute little pink floral ring with a rhinestone, pink rhinestone in the middle. I think these are Swarovski crystals, or Austrian crystal. I don't think they're Swarovski. But they're glass. You see a lot of these that are um, plastic. This one is not. And it's adjustable. And it is right now set at five and a half. But I think it'll open out to about a seven. So that's a cute one. I didn't mean to interject my crazy stories in the middle of showing you your prize. There's some earrings, and all the earrings have both pieces. This was going to be my jar for my. I was going to auction this jar off at my next um, auction with. Jennifer Layton, and then I realized I hit 400. There's two earrings. So I figured, yeah, let me do that. Let me give this one away, and then I'll just make a new one for the 26th at 8 p.m. on Jen's channel. Be there, be square. This one's like a mint green with sky blue. Very lightweight. It is plastic, but it is very fashionable. Sweet. And let's see what else have we got here. Oh, can't get that one out yet. Here's the black stretchy. There's a couple of these in there. This one's uh, glass. There's like two glass ones and a plastic one, I think, and they all kind of look the same. So that's a, a little, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's a pretty hand done purple and it's almost like purple and copper. I've been seeing a lot of purple and copper lately and I love the combination. I might be doing some nail art in that color color combination at some point soon. Or I might be doing ooh, this one is I'm not sure if these stones are real or not. They look to be fabricated in some fashion. This is one of those Tibetan guys. The Tibetan silver and lapis and turquoise or not. Uh, I'm, I haven't really tested any of this stuff so there might be some some surprises in here. Ooh, there's a surprise. A little earring. Cute little guy. And this Pull it is, pull it is. Oh, that's stuck in there, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, stuff flying everywhere. Here is a lariat with pearl ends with little rhinestone rondelles. This is, I'm not going to lie, this is lightweight plastic pearls, but their finish is awesome. You know how a lot of times when you have the cheap um, plastic pearls, how if you do this, they drop they drop bits of their finish. This is not doing that. It is in perfect condition. It is not knotted, but it's still quite cool. Because well, I like lariats. There's another one in here somewhere, I think. Yeah, buddy. Here's a mat silver tone and chain with shells, stretchy on one side, static on the other, there's a, <clears throat> a unikite heart pin, P -p -p pin, <laughs> okay, here's some more pearly pearls, more potato pearls, green ones, <laughs> 
potatoes. So yeah, every time I hear that, I think about that day that was kind of, well, he was 99, so it wasn't a huge shock. Here is a pair of gold tone bangly bits. Here's a gold tone maple leaf. Oh, Canada. And here's a little pendant on it. Well, the cord is... Oh, okay, it does have a clasp of sorts. It's a little knot that goes through a loop. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Very tiny. But it's a neat pendant. It's an artisan piece, I think. This one, and these, these, these ones. <laughs> yeah, I had to put this stuff back in here because I tried to make the video 130. A little take. Hope you don't run out of time. Or battery, or room, or whatever. There we go. This is a neat little set. It's a tiny little... Um... It's a wooden, a dainty little wooden set with a pair of earrings and a necklace. How often do you see dainty with wood? You don't. They're all big giant honking things usually. So that's in there. Here's a vintage. Oh, yeah, vintage. Is that spring ring class? Very nice lacquered, I don't know if it's lacquered wood or it's really high polish, whatever. It feels really nice. It's like a winter white, off-white eggshell. It's sitting on my foot. Here's a hand-done lapis and copper tree of life. Very sweet gonna get through this quickly okay pretty glass and foil earring crazy little googly eye guy Eep. pretty blue statement necklace and oh my stuff is so tangled here's a sponge painted um made to look like agate, but I don't believe that it is. It's kind of worn in the back here. Or it's a type of agate that I'm not familiar with. Oh wait, no, see this is scrap, scratch, scratch, scratching off a little, but it really, you can't really tell hardly. So that's a faux stone one, but it's really nice. And it's heavy like stone. Here's a black glass and um, dyed halite bracelet, stretchy one. Little crosses. This one's got sterling. I think this is a sterling clasp and sterling beads. And it's got dyed halite and little brown glass beads. I think they're glass. Don't quote me on that. It's cold in here. There's another bump. There's a pretty uh, gunmetal, clear, and red. Really nice. This one's really nice. I like this one. It doesn't have a name on it. It, it strikes me as a, a Premier Designs, because they like, for some reason, they liked that color combination for a bit there. I have a lot of things with theirs that's that's color combination. Little peach faux pearls with silver tone. Oh, those are plastic, I think. Here is some more little bracelets. There. Oh, there's a little earring. Okay, yeah. Here's another one of those black ones. Here's a red stone of some sort, I'm not sure. 
but I have seen rubies in this configuration. It's a really, really, really low grade ruby. Or it could be uh, rhodonite, I guess. I don't know. I'm shooting in the dark on that one. Yeah. Oh, there's another bump. Every time I pull something out, I bump the camera. Okay. Here's a bangle that looks like a lot of bangles. Where's a grab and go, huh? You're going out the door and you forgot your jewelry sitting on the hall table. You grab it up and make it look like you grabbed three. <laughs> I know I'm being weird. Uh, being weird. <laughs> I'm always weird. Okay, this is a little tiny uh, Sarah Coventry, like a First Communion pearl and cross. And then there's this little guy. Little vintage pearl and gold. Very small. Here's another one that looks to be either confirmation or holy communion necklace. I remember the Catholic little Catholic girls when they would either have their first communion or or be confirmed. They would always have their little pearls. I think they get their first set of pearls or something. But that was a lot that I was gonna that I put up for sale at one point and it didn't go. Nobody wanted the vintage pearls. So that's going in here. And here's another earring that may or may not be silver. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Here's the other one of those. I think we're going to get through hit this before we hit the point of no return. So, there's a black metal mesh chain with a bunch of dangly dangly bits. And we have a double strand of medallions with cut work. That's cool. I like that. Of course, I like all this stuff. I don't put stuff in here that I don't like. Oh, wow. Look, it's a big ball of stuff. Oh, look, another ball of stuff. There's little snowman earring. Little angel earring. Wait, wait, wait. Little angel earring. A really pretty, really pretty coin necklace. Very in the season. It may well go into fall. I was wearing that one the other day. There's a pretty medallion in black. Or is that gunmetal with a red crystal? And then it's got red and Black and hematite colored resin beads. <clears throat> Here's another pretty little stretch. And here is a pocket rosary. Uh, also a bracelet because it has a clasp on it. Um, here's a little bisque piece. Butterflies and trees on um, cotton cording. And my rhythm of speaking is going like this, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> Here's the other one of those earrings. <laughs> Alright, let's get the rest of the goodies out of here. Just dump them in a pile. There we go. Get that out of the way. Here's a little glass glass pendant. You know I've got plenty of glass. There's an onyx heart on a gold bale. Very, very cute. I need a tiny little chain to put that on. Let's see if this one will fit through there. Look, it's gonna fit. It's gonna. 
It's gonna. Eh. Go, go. Alright. This is actually an Avon chain, so it's a marriage. Um, if you want to take it off and put it on a different chain, that's fine. And use the Avon chain if you have an Avon pendant somewhere. Hey, I can't get it done. No, just... I'll put that one back in later because I can't get it connected. <clears throat> I got ten minutes left. This is a fun one. It has a a Brighton esque kind of a clasp, but it's not. It's five strands. It's got these ombre gray pearls and some black and clear. Yeah. Here's a little pink cat's eye with some silver tone or silver, I'm not sure, beads. There's another one of those. And then we have this little American Eagle Outfitter. It's two strands with little black teardrops. It's got a, a teardrop on the end of it. American Eagle Outfitters. Little Eagle. Oh, there's another bump. <coughs> I'm just beating the crap out of you guys. There's some earrings and a bracelet in the same type of chain. There's another little uh, pearly necklace that went with that other lot. This is really nice quality. I don't know what brand it is, but it feels it feels like it's a brand. Here's a pair of little, pair of little swirly swirlies earrings. Glass pendant it reminds me of uh, like a cappuccino. Put your cream in your coffee. Shades of brown and caramel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, don't be. Please don't be tangled up. Okay. This is a neat copper pendant. I think it's an artisan piece. It's on these green beads with like a coppery core, and then it's got the copper. Toggle? I would take the toggle and this and make something spectacular out of it, but it is going in. Beautiful little tree. Very heavy. Your guess is as good as mine. I do not test, did not test any of this. Here's the little earrings that go with the curly bunch. It's a 1928 toucan. Other one of those. Other one of those. Other one of those. Okay, we're just about done. This reminds me of Betsy Johnson. It's got all these little flowers and a tassel with rhinestones in it. Wait. There. There we go. So yeah. It's got the rhinestones in the tassel and it's got a bow and some flowers and some hearts. And it really does scream Betsy Johnson to me. It's on a decently long chain. Yeah. Okay. This is another lariat. And it is onyx and sterling, little sterling beads. It's really hard to see that they're sterling because they're very dirty. You hear? And then it's got the two paddles on the ends circle and 
rectangle and it had when I got it from Melissa it had the Silpata tag on it and I don't know what happened to it so it is a Silpata all you gotta do is look up Silpata Lariat and you'll find it uh, I got it for a really awesome price from Melissa and it retails for about 90 bucks or at least it did when I looked it up here's a pretty little um, enamel bit with pearls and brown beads that's a cute one there's a little birdie with some eggs it doesn't have, not have a name on it, I would have thought it did but okay, and this is the last bit, these two that I'm not sure anyone would like but I thought they were really cool it's this one with this crazy clasp. It's a hook. Okay, now it's got these gold stations like that. And then this one is three strands of vinyl. See, this is on a vinyl cord. This is the same uh, material. It's got the three three vinyl three vinyl strands and it comes down to these silver discs and it is slightly longer than the other one and I thought they would layer really well so they are going in as well and this is my 400 subscribers my bag that. So, this will probably end up going into a small flat rate, or not a small flat rate, but a, uh, a flat rate bubble envelope. Um, you will not have to pay the shipping. I will pay the shipping and all. And uh, I want to wish everyone good luck, and I will be drawing on the 28th between 1 and 3 p.m. I'll be using comment picker so make sure that you leave a comment on this video so that you'll be entered to win you do not have to be a subscriber to win I cannot ship overseas at this time um, Canada I could probably do but anywhere else is probably a no-go um, and I'm very sorry for that I want to thank everyone for getting me to 400 I want to thank you all for supporting me if it weren't for you my situation would be a little bit more precarious than it is right now I want to thank all my regular buyers I want to thank my one-time buyers I want to thank my every now and then buyers. I want to thank you all for where I am today. And uh, remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.